96-year-old Jean Jacques has lived at her apartment complex for over 20 years. She's happy, healthy, and full of life. She says she was unbothered living here until a few weeks ago, when she received a three-day eviction notice from the facility. In 2002, Jean says she signed a lifetime contract with the previous owner, California Nevada Methodist Homes, that said she could live here for the rest of her life. She paid a $250,000 down payment and was paying $5,000 a month in rent until her savings ran out. I was shocked because the reason I moved into Forest Hill Manor was to be taken care of the rest of my life. Back in 2022, Methodist Homes went bankrupt and sold the facility to Pacifica Senior Living, a for-profit company out of San Diego, with the clause that they would have to honor the lifetime contract like Jean's. But Jean and advocates for senior rights say the new owner is not doing that, and they want to evict Jean. She's devoted all of her savings and money to this place. What would you do? I mean, can you see her out on the sidewalk? I don't think so. I mean, that's just insane to me. I don't care what the legal ramifications are here. This is morally unthinkable. According to the eviction notice, Jean owes over $100,000 in late rent, and she must pay now or be evicted. KSBW reached out multiple times to Pacifica Senior Living for comment, but they did not get back to us. Alliance on Aging is helping Jean dispute this eviction and says they found an issue with the eviction notice. One being that the three-day notice was not approved by the Community Care Licensing, the California Department of Social Services, which oversees these facilities. And the notice did not provide the tenant information on how to dispute the eviction. You know, it's, it's frustrating. It's, you do get angry knowing that it's, you know, it's an elderly person um, that was just told, you need to leave. You need to leave the home that you've been living here for 20 years. You got to go. Um, and where is this person going to go? For those fighting for Jean's well-being, they want the new owner to uphold the contract. Jean just wants to stay in her home. They're not going. They'll have to bury me because I've no place to go. They've got all my money.